Hello, hello, hello. Once again, people, it is Poet. We are playing the Untitled Game, Tug. Now, before we start this tug of war, if you will, let me say that I had the the wonderful, honored privilege of sitting down. Well, I didn't really sit down. Well, I guess I was sitting down, but not physically with him. With one of the founders of the Nerd Kingdom, uh, the the company. Well, is it a company? The the development team that is working on Tug, developing Tug. The one of the founders. I sat down with him. See, I'm tongue tied. I'm so so excited to talk about this. His name, I know, right? So, in honor of talking to I know, I think I will make a world seed named I know and see what happens start the game. Now, in talking with him, it was very interesting because he explained to me basically uh, from the ground up, whoa, that is a giant tree to spawn beside. So this is Aino's seed, huh? I see, I see. Mountains nearby. We spawn in a pine forest. Now, in talking with him, he was able to explain to me uh, kind of where they're coming from because I I told him I don't know very much about Tug uh, and neither do you guys really from what I understand in the comments and that kind of thing nobody really knows what the goal is what the mission is you know um, what their what their role in this development is let me explain a lot of people in the development team have PhDs they're professors they're specialists in uh, in different areas of science. This is a, a science experiment just as much as it's a game development. So to be in this world, I was basically explained that everything matters. Everything matters. From the way that someone interacts with this weird large boulder, that matters. The way that certain things spawn at certain times of day and the way the sound is, the way the wind blows through the leaves uh, in such a certain way, you know, that all matters and makes a difference. So, I was kind of excited to talk to him about that. Um, a lot of, I don't know, they're, they're very cool features coming in, and I'd like to again tell people, go check out their Kickstarter page. You can look it up on Google, just type in Tug Kickstarter you'll find it like immediately uh, and basically this is a nice nice little field to maybe start building in I'm really actually looking for a plains area in floating around interesting rock interesting oh it's almost a ravine sort of is Kind of, not a not a really big ravine, but it's a weird outcropping. It'd be nice to find a uh, a cave of some kind. But anyway, oh, speak of the devil, this might be a cave. Here's some broken textures. Ignore them. Uh, no, it stops right there. So, in talking with him, he basically explained like the game is kind of cube-like right now, the way you see like this cube on the ground and the way that you can, if I were to build things, it's very uh, voxel type. But he's saying that as the game develops, it won't be like that for very much longer. It'll be more fluid, I guess is the right word, uh, in that things will mesh very, very well. This will blend in very well. It'll, it'll be more like this is an interesting muddy texture, isn't it? I like it. I like that a lot. Interesting. Uh, it'll be more fluid. Things will be more uh, natural looking, you know? So instead of placing down a weird jagged square, like so, you'll be placing down probably a, a more roundish shape, uh, one that blends in like maybe a mound of dirt as opposed to just this weird cube of dirt. Little things like that. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, in addition to that kind of thing, um, they're changing the way that the day and night cycle is. 
the combat system. Yeah, there's going to be con combat system. Multiplayer system. If you check out their Kickstarter page, they've got huge amounts of information on what they're going to be doing, what they want to do, uh, the different systems that are going to be put into place, and uh, and that kind of thing. It's very, very, very interesting. So right now, I mean, the whole thing is going to be like a huge behavioral experience. Like uh, It's going to be a, an experiment of what people do and how they interact with things and how they interact with each other is going to be a key feature, I think. It's going to be cool. So here I am. I'm floating around. The grass is kind of changing, I think, but still no planes in sight. Lots of trees. Trees, trees, and more trees, and these glowing weird mushrooms. Hmm. I almost should go back to that other seed that I was running that had... Uh, the plane's right by it. It was the Electric Company, I think was the seed name. So maybe let's try that. Load game. Uh, it was called Buzz, because the Electric Company has a little bit of buzz to it. So let's load that world. Oh yeah, and it was nighttime. I see. I see. From what I've been told, day and night will be like either 24 hours or 11 hours. I don't know if that's a real world time he was talking about. That seems absolutely massive. I wonder if it would change. I mean, it would be kind of depressing for uh, once every couple days I have to deal with nothing but darkness for uh, like 12 hours. But at the same time, it gives the game a very realistic feel to it, you know? If you play the game at night, it's going to be night type of idea. That is kind of nice in a way, although depressing if you live uh, in a country where it would be night all the time. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work, so I can't even make a claim like that. But it's very, very interesting. It seems like this is going to be a fun project. Now, one of the things that people ask me to do, and keep in mind that things like this will change. Uh, they wanted me to see how high you could build. There was a build height. And uh, whether or not there was a like a digging depth that you could go to. Interesting world. Interesting world. Desert over there. Plains over here. Okay. Let's start building. Oops. 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 Well, that can still, we'll still build. Well, let's get over top of it. There we go. See how high we can build. Look at the shadow being cast by the by the torches. Oop. No, we're going. We're continuing to go. Ah, I've moved too far. There we go. See, if if I go at an angle, then the whole thing kind of goes at an angle. I must have to like stand right on top of it, and then there we go. Okay, go up a little. That moon is gorgeous. See how fast it's moving right now? Won't happen like that forever. Okay, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't know how high I am. That shadow is just nuts. Because of the moon? Crazy. Come on, come on. Is there a build height at all? You know, that's what you gotta wonder. If I fly far enough, will I will I go out of Earth's atmosphere? Well, this obviously isn't Earth. Oh, look at this. Only the little glows of the trees are still visible. They look like stars. I'm, I'm, I'm building. Oh, did I? No. Nope. There we go. Ah, just so high up. What's around me now? I. Well, there's the sun in all of its glory, but if I travel forever, will I finally reach the sun? That's an interesting question, too. Okay, I don't know what build height I'm at. Um, I think this 
probably has. I don't know how I'd pull it up. Um, I, I, I do imagine that this has a coordinate system, much like Minecraft does. I don't really know the, the hotkey to pull it up. So in the meantime, here is this massive tower. I can see the sun and the moon from this position. So you can see like the curvature of of the earth actually is what I am seeing. This sun is probably still underneath the earth. Let's go back down. I'm going to use this long pillar. Look at it doesn't even look like we're moving. I can assure you that we are though. Yeah. Wow, that's how high up. So needless to say, a long way. That is very tall. Okay, now the other question, of course, was how far can you dig down? And I don't want it to be, like, way too dark. Can you guys see this okay? I don't know. I guess it's this weird thing where I'll start to... How does this work? How does this work? I reach the corner... And then it puts me back up on here for some reason. Like if I, I hit the edge of this pit. Come on, go back. Go down. Go down into the hole, man. Come on, there we go. Like if I hit this edge, yeah, it puts me right back to the top. Which is kind of annoying, but I think it's supposed to be that way. Just have to like. Oh, here we reached stone. So it has layers of material. Keep going. Was this more dirt around me? Very cool. What is this red stuff? It's, uh, oops. Eh? Some of the material has... Oh! It's like coal! We found coal! But what is red stuff here? I don't... I don't even... It might be... Uh, let me see here. Oh, it could be anything. It's not oak. Oh! Go back one. Go back one! What is this? Clay? Is it clay? I believe that it is clay. It is certainly a clay, I think. Must be. This material has a weird sound to it when I hit it. It's like a sandstone is what it is. This weird lighting glitch. Whoops! Oh, you see? As soon as I hit the edge, I am out at the top again. That goes down a long way. Oh, I'm falling. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it by basically disabling my fly ability. There we go. Now I'm clicking as fast as I can. I'm trying to get as far down as I can. You can see the layers beside me moving. We are far into this cave. Oh, look at this stuff. It's gravel. Okay, I must hit the edge again. Needless to say, is there a limit? I'm not sure. Is that limit reachable? Probably not within any normal amount of time. Whoa. Well, that's a glitch. I just walked into the piece 
and it shoots me all the way to the top. That is, that is hilarious. That is a, uh, I guess a creative feature. So basically, here I am at the bottom. I run into this block. How did I? How did I do that? Ran into the block, and uh, let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. I, I, I kind of went underneath it, and it just like an elevator pushes me all the way back up. Kind of funny. But there you have it. See, you can see the moon underneath the Earth. They actually rotate. Very cool. So there you have it. That's what people wanted to, to see was whether you could dig way down and build way up. And yes, you can for a very long time. Again, this is in very, very early alpha, practically like pre-alpha. It's just, you shouldn't even be seeing this. This is going to be a game of, of all kinds of behavioral stuff. And it's just so cool. Cactus, get out of my way. Until next time, thanks for watching, Tug fans. Hit the like button because it does help. Subscribe if you haven't already to stay updated on Tug updates and that kind of stuff. And do all those other awesome things that you people do. We'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.